Eyeglasses don't merely correct vision. They're also a fashion statement. So much so that many of today's top clothing designers produce a line of eyeglass frames. Whether you prefer plastic frames or metal ones, they come in so many different colors, sizes, and shapes that you're guaranteed to find a pair that suits you. Metal frames come in a multitude of shapes from ordinary to extraordinary. It all starts with a computerized system called a three-axis eye winding machine. A set of rollers pulls metal wire from a big spool. Then, with software-driven precision, the machine bends the wire into the shape of the frame, then cuts the end free. The lenses will fit into pre-cut grooves on the inside. A small part called the insert connects the two ends of the eye frame, holding them closed around the lens. To attach the insert, they put it in a clamp, then position the eye frame just above it. They apply a cleaning agent called flux, then filler wire. An electric current heats the wire, metal frame, and insert until they all melt and fuse together. Now they do the same to what's called the screw hinge, the piece that attaches the arm to the eye frame. Again, electrically generated heat fuses the hinge to the insert. This process, similar to soldering, is called brazing. Now for the bridge, the piece over the nose that joins the two eye frames. A small press bends a piece of metal into the shape of the bridge. Then a worker aligns it with the eye frames in an assembly jig. This ensures the frames are perfectly straight. Brazing again melds everything together. Next comes the piece above the bridge called the brow bar. An automated machine cuts metal wire to pieces the right length, then carves grooves on the ends to enable the brow bar to fit snugly onto the top of the frames. It then bends each piece to the right shape. The brow bar now goes into position. A little flux to remove any dust or dirt that might prevent the metal from fusing properly. Then they braze the brow bar to the frame. Now come little hooks called pad arms. They hold small pads under the bridge that cushion your nose. A worker fuses the pad arms to the frames using the same brazing process as before. Now for the arms that attach to the eye frames on one end and sit on your ears on the other. The industry calls these arms temples because they're at the level of your temples when you wear the glasses. After stamping the size and company name on the inside, they fuse a hinge to each one and press a plastic sleeve on the other end. They set the arms momentarily aside while they position the lenses in the groove of the eye frame. A screw keeps everything tight and intact. Now they screw an arm onto each hinge. The arms on most models have curled ends that hook over the ears for a more secure and comfortable fit. A special machine called a mechanical cam applies pressure to bend the plastic sleeves to a 45 degree angle. These metal frame glasses are functional and fashionable.